Shalom, everybody. It's good to be back again to share with you a thought that I had in my daily devotion. And today I want to talk about rest because I realized that my encounter with my fellow colleagues, uh, my families, uh, people that I bump a, a, along the road are so, ever so busy, especially Singaporeans. We, we, we meet one another and, and we, we don't have time for one another. We are always rushing, so much so that sometimes you don't even have time to, to eat. And this was what happened to a group of disciples under Jesus' uh, mentorship. They were busy and they were reporting to Jesus about what they have done and they have no time to eat. And Jesus advised them, come with me and, and find rest. And so that passage is taken from Mark chapter 6. Uh, verses 30 and 31. Let me read to you God's word. If you have the scripture with you, please follow along. Mark chapter 6. It's about Jesus feeding the 5,000. Verse 30. The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done and taught. Then because so many people were coming and going, that they did not even have a chance to eat. He said to them, Come with me by yourself to a quiet place and get some rest. You know, we do not know how to rest, whether we like it or not. Some of us have sleepless nights. Some of us, even young people that I know today, are so engrossed with their gaming that they don't have enough sleep. What an important thing we have missed. Because rest restores us. Rest revitalizes us. God has made us human beings. There's time to work and there's time to rest. Sabbath is set apart. It's a command for us to rest. But do we know how to rest? Do we understand what rest is all about? As I was thinking about this, it reminded me of a story of a lumberjack competition. A lumberjack are people who, who, who chop down trees with a, a pair of axe or chainsaw. But in this competition, they were given an axe. And they were given many trees, an area to chop. And so this competition started with about 10 lumberjacks. And they were all huge and muscular with, with all their biceps. And they were there ever ready with their, their accent. And as the horn blew, each and every one of them started chopping. And they were given half a day to see how many trees they are able to chop down. And so there were two hot flavors side by side. And, and they were chopping furiously at the tree. But one of the hot favorite, uh, after about an hour, took some rest. He took some rest, took some water, and as he drank, as he rest, he was sharpening his axe. Whereas the other competitor went on to the next tree because he wanted to go ahead, and he was chopping down a next tree, and this guy was still sipping his drink calm and, and rested. And so after he had rested, he went to chop and join in the competition and start chopping again. And he does that ever so often. Uh, every hour or so, he would stop to sharpen his axe and he would have his drink. And by the end of the competition, when the horn start blew again, everybody was excited and everybody was preparing for the judges to give the announcement who was the real winner. And to my surprise, the one that rested the most, the one that took time to sharpen its axe, was the real winner. And so the second runner-up came up to him after the prize-giving ceremony. He says, you took drinks and you rested, but I continue to chop without resting. But yet, you won the competition. What is the secret? And so the winner told him, well, 
As you chop down the tree, your axe will be blunt and you'll be tired. And that is the reason why I took my break. I wanted to rest so that my muscle can be recharged and my axe sharpened so that I don't have to use a lot of energy to, to chop down a tree. Wow, what a valuable lesson, the importance of rest. You see, busy people find it a lot, a whole lot easier to worry than to rest. We worry about getting things done. But in the process of worrying, we miss out what is important. We are so busy wanting to, to get it done that we are doing it ineffectively. A restless heart usually leads to a restless life. And that's what happened. His heart was restless. He was busy thinking about getting the job done without realizing the importance of rest. And so my friends, we need to make an intentional effort to take time to rest. And, and God himself was a role model. He created heaven and earth, the whole world, in six days. And on the seventh day, he rests. If God show us the example, why are we not taking rest seriously? Why are we working our life dry until we are burned out? And so my brothers and sisters, as you continue to work, as you continue to study, as you continue to pursue your career, may I remind you that rest is important because when you rest, you are focused. When you rest, you are recharged. And God wants us to be our best because when we are rested, we are strong. And so the thought for the day is really to make intentional time to rest. And I pray that you will find rest and an integral part of your life so that you remain healthy and strong for the long haul ahead. God bless you.